I'm going to give you a quick list of the pros and cons of linking OKRs to compensation. So simple pros, cons. So the pros are as follows. First, and these are no particular sequence. They're just the sequence that came to mind. One, we need to be able to link performance to strategy. People want to understand the connection to purpose. And of course, OKRs allow us to link your individual performance, your team performance, your department performance to strategy. Secondly, they allow us to get ongoing and current feedback. Can you imagine a, a crazy world where you only get feedback once a year in your annual performance review or even once a quarter? You know, the business uh, velocity, complexity is changing. We're in a turbulent environment. Getting feedback even once a quarter is not frequent enough. OKRs give us that continuous, whatever the appropriate drumbeat is, ongoing and current feedback. Of course, OKRs are agile, they're flexible, right? We have the quarterly retrospective and refresh that allows us to keep tracking on what's important to the organization. That's agility. And if you hit a trigger event partway through a quarter, you can just do the retrospective and refresh and realign your objectives. Third, it enables autonomy, right? Because OKRs are focused on the outcomes not the activity, it gives you autonomy. It allows you to get to that outcome however best suits your competencies, you know, provided you live within our values, the regulations, the guidelines of the organization. It's like playing an online game. I understand the objective and then I have the autonomy of trying to solve the puzzle my own way. Obviously, it builds teamwork, right? You have both individual OKRs, but also team OKRs. Just like playing on a, a soccer or football team, I can only the team can only win if we all do our jobs individually and collectively. So we have those shared objectives or shared key results to encourage teamwork. Obviously, it provides transparency because I can see my objectives, my teammates' objectives. I can see how they're doing, see how I'm doing. That transparency allows me to operate more collaboratively as a team player. And that is, therefore, it all builds engagement, right? By being connected to purpose, getting that frequent feedback, being able to work towards uh, those outcomes and exhibiting autonomy, making sure that it's agile and current on the actual activities, it's transparent. All those things build engagement and, of course, ultimately gives us those significant performance gains. Those are why we should do it, and those are all compelling reasons. I'm not sure why any organization would not want to achieve those benefits. The cons, just just one. We're concerned that people might game the numbers, that we might falsify the numbers in order to improve my compensation. In the next video, I'm going to explain to you why that's a ludicrous concept. It, it works for how we used to run businesses five or ten years ago. In fact, you cannot game the numbers in an OKR environment. So the con doesn't make sense. The pros outweigh the cons. It's got to get done.